Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken, we're playing Legendary Iron Man difficulty of the Long War one, Better 1 mod. And it is beginning of month number 7, that's the last mission that we're doing before we are infiltrating a massive HQ. So be ready, the next missions are going to be a slugfest deluxe. Today we're going to look at a Hack the Workstation mission um, to gain some more intel, which is exactly what we need. It's going to be uh, moderately defended with 18 um, enemies, but we got a squad of 7 to go through them. Aya is leading them, uh, good old assault. We got a specialist, a grenadier for cover removal, a ranger, sharpshooter technician, and to top it off, we got our prime um, spark bishop here the black um, spark i'm wondering i might be completely wrong but wasn't i just using him in the last mission have i duplicated the spark am i am i slowly going insane let me double check that real quick So no, apparently I'm wrong. I've just used uh, the second spark and that's fine. Well, it's easy to mix all of the sparks up. That's why we normally have color codes for them. Anyways, let's jump right into the mission and uh, get that 24 intel. Here we go. Good, and we landed, keep in mind, 18 enemies, and yet again we're landing on a graveyard. That seems to be the theme of the month, fighting on a lot of graveyards. So before we move in, we only got 9 turns, which is pretty damn close. Do we have anyone with leadership abilities? No. Saiken, I told you, bring your offices with you. Mac begins to move in. And we haven't found anything. There is high ground over here. There are potential faceless ones over there. And for a sniper, I would say we're starting with full cover here. Not the best shooting angles. Moving our other rookie all the way up to here. And that's the first pack. 18 enemies and the first one already wow, contains like what an elite viper. I think it was a mutant centurion. Let's check out this pack. Got it. Yeah, mutant centurion and two probably lead vipers on it dynamite is moving up affirmative covering now so yeah given that we do have 18 enemies we should engage relatively soon and we should strike fast and hard. No exceptions, no casualties. Uh. If we wait any longer, we might end up with not being able to reach the target in time. Eight more turns. And there might even be a chosen one 
in this mission. That's the annoying part about all of that. Heading out. Oh, wow, shit. It's another peck. What is that? Sector Commander? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to deal with him. And what is it? What is it with Long War and the love for snakes? I mean, they just felt snakes were terribly bad in the normal game, so we just make them way better by raising their aim stat unproportionately high. Problem is we can't really engage them right now. The majority of the team is too far back to actually do something meaningful. Don't want to go here, that looks a bit too dangerous. Could easily get us uh, get us spotted out, so don't want to do that really. Let's take half cover because we're going to charge in anyways. Moving up, steadying the weapon. Headed there now. Moving over here. And as for our sniper. I mean, we could take high ground. She's hyper-reactive pupils, but she doesn't have anything else that would justify the risk of uh, moving her over there just by herself. Instead, let's put her into full cover. We got a few overwatches here, and I think everyone can overwatch and or steady their weapon. It wouldn't be too bad if they are moving into us. And that's not bad at all. Which means if we play our cards right... No, we can't just trigger one of them. Too bad. But we could start with a flashbang to all of these guys here and then focus on that pack first. And I think that's what we're going to do. Or, or, Unfortunately, the tree is in the way. What? There's another pack with 60... Oh no. I'm sorry. 44, 58 hit points. Damn. 18 enemies.
Good, let's follow the first the first approach, which literally was let's get all of uh, them. Plus, maybe if you're flashbanging a civilian that is a faceless one, it'll turn into a faceless one. So that'll potentially discover whether or not there's a faceless one back there. Good. They weren't moving at all, which I was hoping would be the case. It's not a bad outcome. Because now we can shoot them uh, without cover. And we at the same time might be able to deal with all of the Vipers over here actually like to take advantage of them not being in cover. Are you shitting me? That's not bad. It's a good start. We can move over here and continue hitting the Viper or we're simply moving over here and doing that. Can definitely move to here, kill the Viper with a pretty hard, hardcore assault. This here would hit them. I'm not sure about killing them necessarily. Could also move up to here. And use the flamer against them. That's an option as well. I mean, we got to make up our mind. Uh, them being in, in the open is great. Can shall we ignore the sector for too long? Probably a bad idea. It's not just dealing damage. That's the problem. The sector also has mind control, mind merge, and a couple of other nasty spells. Should almost be our first priority. We could move into half cover here. Can even flank the snake. I like the full cover position that he's uh, um, he's in. We might want to start that way. If it removes cover, great. If not, it's not the end of the world. Good, which means we don't need to move at all. Lovely. I like it. Overdriving.
Let's start with the commander. Are you sure this weapon was mm. properly assembled? Come on. Really solid hit. Crit for 14, which is great. I would like to give my aid protocol to someone. But I'm also trying to be efficient with our damage. And this here could kill the sector commander. Come on. Good job. All right, continuing our massacre here. One more hit, please. Fail. Confirmed. All right, come on. Very nice. Enemy destroyed. Hardly did any <laughs> we are we are lacking damage. Becomes more and more evident. Moving back so that we're not in range of uh, the other pack. The Viper could flank us, but that's just a logical consequence. It might also just move back. Who knows? Well, it doesn't. They are slithering around without doing anything. Like it. Let's deal with the Viper real quick. By the way, interesting that it said bind failed. I've never seen that happen. We're going for a flanking shot, of course. Come on. We can stand next to one another, that's fine. Their poison will not affect us. Let's hit the mutant. We got a shotgun, that is... <sighs> Probably not the easiest. Play. Don't want to trigger another pack. 18 enemies. By the way. Requesting immediate evac. Let's make sure that we can get out of here. I mean, that's a 50-50 on the Mutant. Mm, I don't like the odds. I don't like that one either. So 
So we could, I mean, we do have a lot of armor here. But very carefully, I don't want to go further, although it's full cover, I realize that, but look at this here. Don't want that sort of trouble in my neighborhood. Good, we can start to burn one of them. Moving into decent positions. You know what I'm going to do? I'll just play it safe, which in this case would be, let's eliminate them with, an, uh, with a grenade that should kill the mutant and get rid of some cover, hopefully. Cover yes, mutant no. Shit. Not good. Which means we're flashbanging another time. Let's go. Slowly but surely getting the Viper down. Yeah, let's try the shotgun. Come on! You can't handle me. Very nice. Okay, next pick. Oh boy, this is going to be a hard mission. Multiple hostiles advancing on our position. Ready to go. Okay. So, first things first. I'd like to find a way of approaching without pulling everyone, right? Slowly moving our way over to here to get to the high ground. Let's see, will allow us one shot onto the Viper. We definitely could move to here, flank, but my gut tells me that that is going to trigger the rest. And we don't want that to happen. Matter of fact, maybe what we want is another flashbang. Who knows? It's an option. I'm super paranoid regarding the additional enemies back there. On the move. Rather moving over here.
I mean, we could, I guess, hit both of them if we are able to kill the Viper. Not sure if these here are faceless ones. Almost reached the Viper. Okay, I guess we're taking a shot into cover. I got a piece. Let's try this to eliminate the Viper. Unfortunately, no effect on the cover whatsoever. Could position ourselves over here and actually have a few good flanking shots or almost flanking shots. I like the idea. So we're going to help Dynamite here. I'd like to overwatch in for the reinforcements. Can't get any closer. This will not trigger anything. And I think it's a good idea to just flashbang him. Is that triggering? Not sure. Maybe. Let's just move over here. We are keeping run and gun so that we can flank next turn. Because we're having reinforcements coming in and a few overwatch shots won't hurt. Also, we need to have some way of dealing with the reinforcements actually. We are under enormous time pressure. Fortunately, the shotgun overwatch didn't work. But we can deal with the stun lancer over here.
Not sure how many he reached with the, uh, that ability. But that's a f that's a frightening prospectus having uh, having this guy essentially buff everyone. And now reinforcements are dropping in every round. So we need to hack the target, which means our either our mech or our specialist need, need to go back. Or oh, need to go towards the target rather, sorry. Okay, free reload. Chances are so and so, not really very good. Do we have eight protocol? No, it's down for this round, okay. Okay, so that's this one here is the closest where we can see the shield bearer, which I was hoping would not trigger another pack. I was right with that. So now it's time to deal with the reinforcements, like I mentioned. Go, go, go. Can't let them send in our backyard. Fucking Advent Sentinel, wow. Tactical sends minus 15%. So he, this guy here has a 25% uh, miss built-in miss chance. What? That is stupid game design. I'm sorry to say that, but difficulty doesn't come from just making the game more random. And this here is non-revertible, um, non-revertible miss chance. There's nothing that I can do against it. Dealt with the immediate threats. Do I get a badge or something? This weapon requires one, two, three, four, five, six more are standing in the door. How am I going to be able to? to essentially get there. Maybe maybe with overdrive to move to here, something, then pull the packs, hack, and move out. I mean, we do have a line of sight and the mech can theoretically, the mech can theoretically hack. This here would be so good, but unfortunately shotguns are so bad when it comes to to range. That's a 50-50. I think we're not going to get much better odds than that. Maybe a flesh wound. 
problem is his entire kit is built around being a frontliner and we can't engage not with six enemies there I will move to here and just simply overwatch can't, I really can't do anything other than that This here is absolutely nailing us down or holding us down. Can move to here and next turn I can move there and flank him. Are we taking a 50-50 or am I overwatching is the question. We got one overwatch, we got two overwatches. Can't kill him with a 50-50. 3% chance to deal damage and it's not gonna be enough to kill him. I mean, I could go for walk fire, just to deal some damage, I suppose. Or alternatively, we're just overwatching in the hopes of Dealing more damage now to whatever reinforcements are coming. Yeah, perfect moment in time to reveal that there was yet another faces one. Well, at least the overwatch shot uh, was hitting. It wasn't hitting for much is the problem. Difficult for being completely swarmed now. Got to deal with a mech here. Got to deal with a lot of enemies. Good. So we're reloading and let's kill the longbow first. Target disabled. Shit, can't flank him. Could go here though. But that would mean we're sending in the open. Not a good idea. Could go to here, but that would almost in, almost entirely guarantee that we're pulling the other packs. Probably not. We're probably not having enough firepower to kill this guy. Plus two. Hmm. Tired of waiting around.
So we do have a problem with him. And that problem is not just going to, going to go away. Although this here is a 100% kill, probably need to fight the captain. What we could do is, we could shred him, get a little bit closer like here-ish, shouldn't trigger another pack yet, but that's a good position, or here, that's a good position to kind of move forward and see the target. Okay, I think I have a plan. Let's kill the mech. Oh, I forgot there is also the faceless one. Dangerous, but I'm willing to kill this guy. The mech gets the aid protocol. Mind you, these are still the reinforcements. Target down. Training ammo fast. And there's another Overwatch. Well, <coughs> more reinforcements are coming in. Well, this is going to be rough, guys. This is going to be very rough. And even more enemies. Great. So the idea is... Let's look at the spark. We got overdrive. The idea is to get into a position where we're not pulling anything yet. For instance here. And next turn, we're going to move up as far as we can with overdrive, hack it, and then get back here. So probably position that I would take is over here. Still out of vision range, barely, but still. Okay, got a faceless, heavy rocketeer. 
Shock Trooper, gotta be careful, those have um, usually big shotguns and a commando, which I don't 100% know what that is. But it looks like an advent with a little bit increased capabilities. Also, since next uh, round, we're going to get out of here. We need to make sure that everyone's sort of in, in range of getting out of here. It's one down. As here is the area, the exit. So we're killing all three of uh, them, which means it's not a problem to generally stay here. They won't last long. All right, let's go with the shock trooper next. Nice little hit for 14, that's exactly what I was looking for. We're keeping ourselves pretty close to here. I don't care that I'm being flanked. We need to make sure that every single turn counts now. Essentially hitting all of them with a flashbang. So the shock trooper is burning. My biggest problem is if I would be charging in, I could kill it. But I'm not sure if we can get to the exit from this field. Let's take one, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, and from here it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That's not enough. I'm on it. Negative damage. Figure that might happen. Need a resupply. Oh, we don't have run and gun anyways. Doesn't matter. We can position ourselves up here. Nailed him. Good. We're going to take one shot. And next turn, 
is going to be our exit strategy. Maybe it works and we're successful, maybe it doesn't. My problem is I, I don't have a better plan. It's just insane levels of enemy strength over here. Oh yeah, I forgot we got untouchable. Yeah, untouchable, baby. Of course, I should have planned with that. And we're doing exactly that, so let's first of all double check. Everyone can move up. Yes, 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 and yes. Okay, cool. Um, well then. Let's take a shot. That removes Overwatch. We could have also just moved our assault. Good. That's one out. Dynamite is completely out of ammunition. I'm not even sure if we could deal with the reinforcements at this point in time. Maybe, maybe not. We have a couple of uh, soldiers that desperately need to reload. And we just can't do it, right? <laughs> of course, grazing shot. I'm gone. All right, Wolverine unfortunately doesn't have run guns, so we can't do anything other than getting out of here. Let's go. Good, now for the grand finale. Wish me luck, good boys. Wish me luck. I don't know if my calculations were somewhat accurate. We got like what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Should be good. <laughs> Impossible. Not gonna happen. Look at that. It's like one step, just one step I could have moved to here and I could still, I, the plan was good. The plan was good, but unfortunately it wasn't good enough.
Can't do it. Just in time. All of this here would have been Well, should have, could have, would have, does not get us anywhere. The disappointing realization when you failed a mission and Bradford rates you at poor, but you actually feel like you've done a pretty good job in everything beforehand. Yeah, well, good, at least no one got injured, well, with the exception of the mech, but that was injured uh, beforehand, and we got three promotions out of it, so that's not bad as well. Keep in mind, experience is actually also, quote unquote, a currency. We're going to go with warheads for more shredding. Asuka here could use center mass. I like aggression with the critical strike, but his main problem was the shots with the laser rifles weren't just dealing enough damage. And we're taking death from above. Well, wait a second. Did we want to make her one of uh, the rapid targeting champions? No, we didn't. She had a pretty solid uh, aim herself. Let's make her a normal sniper. Well, and that concludes our run for today, gentlemen. We are directly going to jump into the massive HQ assault which is going to happen next. Unfortunately, we were unsuccessful completing the mission. But on the other hand, if we would have done the HQ assault, I think once you liberate an area, all of the other missions disappear because Advent disappears. So it was a correct choice to do the mission. It was unfortunate that we just couldn't, we just couldn't do it. Vigilance level is now at 30 and that is I'm noticing that it gets definitely much much harder than uh, than beforehand. In the meantime. We are continuing to recruit. That's fine. You know, everything else is good. Uh, the, the last few missions just have been a bit rough. So let's get a good assault going with the HQ here. Get our prime team unstuck again. And then we can use them also to solve some of the missions uh, that we currently have. We need Intel because we essentially want to get to the Arctic. Good. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the content, despite of me getting pretty beaten up, uh, I'd like you to leave a, a comment and a like down below and see you in the next mission. Bye-bye.